close your eyes and watch your breath. Watch it all the way in, all the way out. Try to stay with it continually. It's by staying with it continually that you make some changes in the mind. The mind likes to jump around, and if you just jump to the breath for a bit and jump to something else for a bit and jump back around, it doesn't change anything inside. But if you stay with the breath, you begin to realize that the way you breathe has an impact on the mind, the way you breathe has an impact on the body. And it's good to learn how to do that well. Here it is, free medicine for the body, free medicine for the mind. And yet we're throwing it away for the most part. So pay some careful attention and stick with it, because you're also going to be learning a lot about the mind, not just about the breath as you do this. You see when the mind does something and the impact it has on the mind itself and the impact it has on the body, the way you see things outside. It's because you're staying here continually that you can see the connections. Otherwise, it's like walking into a room, looking at the television for a bit, seeing a little bit of the show, and then walking away. And coming back 15 minutes later and seeing something else happening, and you don't know what happened in the meantime. You don't see any connections. It doesn't make any sense. And for the, most, of, most of us, that's the way life is. It doesn't make any sense because we're not looking carefully and continually enough. So here, we learn about the mind by watching it continually right at the breath. That we begin begin to understand why it is that even though everything we do is for the sake of happiness, so many things end up causing pain and suffering. Why is that? Well, it's because we're not paying a careful enough attention. We don't see what we're doing. We don't see the connections between what we're doing and the results that we're getting. We just complain about the results. But if you want to understand where they come from, watch the mind. That was the Buddha's main discovery, is it all comes out of the mind. Everything he says that we experience is based on our desires. Sometimes the desires are skillful, sometimes they're not. But if we're not monitoring, then we don't know which is which. So here we have a chance to monitor things, watch things continually from when there's an action in the mind to the result it has. And then you can decide, is this the result I want? If it's not, go, go back and change the action. This is how we learn. So this is a good place to learn about the mind, because you can stay with the breath as long as you like. It's always going to be there. As long as you're alive, there's going to be some breath. So make the most of it. It's free. They haven't learned how to privatize your breath yet. So take advantage of what you've got.